Thank you. Being a caregiver to a loved one can be a lot, but it is something that a lot of people do on a daily basis. So why not get together and talk about it? This afternoon, Cheryl Conley with Memory Lane Care Services and Vicki Rankin Sanderson, a caregiver herself, join us. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for being Thank here you. today. Appreciate yeah. it. First of all, let's talk a little bit about Memory Lane Care Services and what you all provide for the community. So Memory Lane Care Services is an adult day center mm -hmm. for any sort of frail elder who wouldn't do well in a senior center. Okay because we can give them um, lots of support in, in their day. Um, we have a specialty in dementia, so you don't need to have dementia to come. Okay. But in addition to the adult day center, we have these caregiver education programs, caregiver support, trying to um, help people um, learn how to get along with caregiving. You know, there's, luckily I'm not in the situation where I've had to be a caregiver for anyone yet, but the likelihood is pretty is pretty strong, and you have been one for a couple years for your husband, yes. correct? Yeah, a couple years now, mm -hmm. um, and it's been uh, quite an experience mm -hmm. because every day is different. Mm -hmm. Every day is different, and so that's why I'm so grateful for Memory Lane. Mm -hmm. And um, I think I said before, uh, it doesn't matter what's going on on Wednesdays at two o'clock. I'm there <laughs> because they're it's a support group, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Everybody in the support group, um, we're all caring for people in different lengths of time. Sure. Some people 11 years, some people just started, you know, and so there's so many great tips and just good old support. Sometimes you just need an atta girl. Right? Yeah. <laughs> just somebody to talk to real quick. That's right. right. And so you set your schedule around it. You said, okay, uh, Wednesdays at 2 o'clock, okay, then we can work from there. That's yeah. right. So uh, these get togethers, Wednesday, as we mentioned, you, so you'll have one coming up, but tomorrow then, right? Yes. Yeah, so Wednesdays at 2 o'clock is what we call our caregiver coffee. Mm -hmm. People come in person or by telephone or over video conference. Okay. Although if you come video conference, you got to bring your own coffee. <laughs> um, but it's a chance to get together and talk. We usually have a specific topic. Okay. Like tomorrow is about working with someone who's resistant to your care. Which maybe if you're just starting out, you know, and, and providing care for someone, they may be like, I don't, I don't need that. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. kind of challenges have you come across? You said it's different every day. It is. Um, well, my husband is a very, very bright man. Mm -hmm. And so watching him be frustrated about things he can't remember, yeah. it's, it's really tough. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've sort of moved into the phase of life where um, he's present a lot of times, but then you get the stare. And then I know he's trying to process some information. Mm -hmm. So, um, for instance, we're going to be having, he's going to be taking a driving test in July mm -hmm. just to make sure, I mean, his driving isn't terrible, mm -hmm. but sometimes due to his um, response time, it's much slower these days. Mm -hmm. We just need to make sure, and I'm glad they're you know, services in place to monitor that and make right. sure that he's still able to drive. Um, he's only gotten really lost a couple times, but he was able to call home and thankfully, right. you know, uh, we got him back home. But, um, you know, it's, it's just, um, it's an amazing ride, that's what I'll say. Mm. It's a journey, and you, don't, mm -hmm. and you have no idea how long it's gonna be. Sure, yeah. and so when you can get together, you know, once a week, that's right. have some coffee. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to have coffee, do you? You don't have to have like, coffee. But let's have, let's have coffee. I take right? burners with me. Oh, there you go, that's good too, that's, <laughs> that's good as well. Uh, but as you said, different themes, so we're talking about resistance. What are maybe some of the other topics you have coming up? So we always have a monthly program too. And that might be on something like driving cessation. Okay. That could be for the person themselves or the caregivers that are worried about that. Mm -hmm. um, other themes are things like handling falls or preventing falls mm -hmm. or um, bathing tips mm -hmm. or traveling tips or holidays or, th or things like that. Yeah. So every month there's a, um, an education program or series. Mm -hmm. And then every Wednesday there's a caregiver group we also uh, collaborate with the Toledo Museum of Art. Mm -hmm. So many times people who have um, frailty don't ever get out except to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. oh, that, yeah, and that's so, no fun, right? So, so we've worked with the Toledo Museum of Art training docents about how do you talk with someone, a group of people who have trouble processing. Oh. And so we do that once a month. Or there's a memory cafe 
another chance for people to get out mm -hmm. and socialize and, and have a good time. And that could be good with, for the caregivers yeah. as well, too. Absolutely. So how can people get connected? Because there's plenty of viewers at home who are saying, I'm in this situation, whether it's been, as you said, 11 years or maybe 11 months, you mm -hmm. know, if people are at, at different points. Uh, how do they get connected and come to these group meetings? So one can come to the group meetings or you can just call us. Okay. Because people are calling us all day long. Like it, it's been two weeks since they've showered or something. How do I get them to take a shower? And mm -hmm. we're on the phone with them. And then if it looks like one of our services would be useful mm -hmm. or education programs, we'd get them in that, including the care coach. We have a dementia care coach mm -hmm. um, who spends one-on-one -on -one time with people. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a free service. A, a lot of these are supported by the Lucas County Senior Levy, mm -hmm. which makes everything super affordable. Wonderful. So lots of services. We know where Vicki's going to be tomorrow. At two That's right. <laughs> so you can, you can be there as well. Ladies, thank you so much for being thank here you. today. We appreciate it.